after sitting through 51 button poetry love poems on YouTube in several failed attempts of writing this poem, I finally know the perfect words to say I love you. I love you. And I've grown past wanting to watch you grow old, to wanting to learn how to stop death like, how dare God raise the same hands that gave you breath to take it away? And how dare life be a metaphor for itself, love, fact. The first time I told someone I loved them, I was in the first grade. We attempted to sneak a kiss in underneath his black and green raincoat just before dismissal. Our faces pressed together like angry fingerprints in wet clay. We had no idea what to make of this. I should have known it wouldn't last. He moved through girlfriends like he did his crayon box when he was tired of a color, he broke it and moved on. The second time I told someone I loved them, I was in the seventh grade. I only dated him because everyone around us thought it was cute, while I, on the other hand, was just grateful that someone thought my baggy shorts and basketball t-shirts were worthy of affection. I don't remember him much either, except that he was the first light-skinned boy to ever look my way. He wasn't afraid to cry in front of me, and he had a bad habit of breaking up and wanting to get back together again the third time I told someone I loved them. I did it. Instead, I allowed him to use my body like the many instruments he knew how to play. Year after year, he'd show up demanding my body at will, and year after year, I let him, unaware of the footprint he was leaving behind. Love became an estranged emotion by the time I was 13, and I wanted nothing to do with it. Love was an abstract distraction, always standing in the way of my reflection, providing conjugal visits on holidays and birthdays, but never just because I was convinced that people like me don't find love in this universe. I learned love is never getting too attached. Love is willing to be publicly embarrassed. Love is sexual favors and most importantly, love is never saying I love you because you don't know what love is. Fact. Love once found me, but I wasn't ready to accept it. Fact, love found me two more times, but I still wasn't ready. Love seemed to always chase their dreams of me, but was never capable of looking me in the eyes. Fact, the first time I found love, I asked God, is this a dream because love no longer looked like himself. Love barely looked my way out of nervousness. She could never fix her lips to say hello or even goodbye without bursting into laughter. She cared for meaningless conversation and dared to babysit my heart. But love was learning how to let go and I asked myself, do I believe in the right person at the wrong time? No. So I learned to hold on. I wiped the dust from love's knees every time she fell or felt unappreciated by the world. I held love in my bosom and prayed her tears into good fortune. And for the first time since my first time saying I love you, I meant it. And they were no longer words of wishful thinking spilled carelessly over my tongue. I no longer hesitated to place a period after you. I just said it. And it was intentional. And as much as love told me she wasn't ready, I saw the future. And it was love and me, gray hair and grandchildren, sleepless nights and golden sunrises. And when love kissed me for the first time, I knew I had never said I loved you to anyone but her. I promised love that I would cradle her darkest memories in the crease of my arm and it would never get tired. And suddenly I learned love was oftentimes at the ends 
of my apologies. It seems I had learned what made love's insecurities a reality and forgot that I was supposed to be protecting them. And for the first time, I questioned if I was wrong about love yet again. But then I think to myself, I prayed too long to God for you to let you go. Hell, I made this love from scratch. Every tear, every bit of bloodshed, every moment present together, ever since I was in the first grade and I ask myself, is this my destiny? And all I know is that I'm way past the point of wanting to grow old with you to wanting to learn how to stop death.